Let's look at planning for 2011. Again, we've got income tax planning and we have wealth transfer planning. The next part of my presentation assumes that the law as it's written today becomes effective January 1st. We have no idea if our friends in Washington, and I use that term loosely, are going to do anything about the tax law between now and January. We hope they will. I fear the worst, which is that nothing will happen, at least not on this front. So let's look at what the rules are, assuming they don't change anything. Tax brackets. The 0% tax bracket for some long-term capital gains, it's eliminated. The 10% bracket on regular income, it's eliminated. The 15% bracket on income is reduced. Less income will be taxed about 15%. And the highest brackets, 36 and 39.6, are reinstated. So the Bush-era tax cuts that they're talking about extending, this is what happens if they don't extend it. So the higher income people are going to be paying more taxes. The highest rate will go up from 35% where it is today to 36 or even 39.6 in the future. Not only that, but if they don't fix this thing, what's called the alternative minimum tax could apply to as many as a third of U.S. taxpayers. Last year there was what was called the AMT patch. It was a piece of legislation that basically said we're going to keep this alternative tax system the way it used to be and exempt more people out of it. That AMT patch has not yet been enacted. We hope it will be. If it isn't, there's going to be an awful lot of people who are very surprised come tax day that their regular income tax is not what they're going to pay. They're going to pay in addition to that what's called the alternative minimum tax. And I've heard some projections saying that if this alternative minimum tax comes through, again, up to a third of the taxpayers will pay it, and people with just compensation income, a married couple perhaps, $100,000 of income, now that's a lot of money, but it's not wealthy, they could be subject to the alternative minimum tax. So this AMT is a big deal, uh, and we need to be watching it carefully. The exemption is being reduced, uh, and what that means is that there's more people going to be subjected to it. Uh, charitable IRA rollovers. Uh, in the good old days, you, if you were retired, you could take part of your IRA and give it directly to charity and avoid all of the income taxes on that. At this point, that tax law has not been extended. I'm hoping it will be because it's a great thing for charities and it's a great thing um, for taxpayers too. Let's look at wealth transfer planning for 2011. Unless Congress gets off the dime and changes something, here's what's going to happen January 1st. The federal estate tax will apply again. What does that mean? It means that if your benefactor dies New Year's Eve, tax-free transfer of wealth. But if they cross the line and die New Year's Day, taxable. So there's actually an article in the Wall Street Journal this summer. Some billionaires are asking themselves the question, is suicide a rational alternative? I don't think Warren Buffett's that rational to consider that for himself. But the federal tax will come back, and also many state death taxes, including Wisconsin's, will automatically come back. What else? Uh, the estate tax exemption, the amount that you can pass tax-free will go down to $1 million. It was as high as $3.5 million just last year, 2009. This year it's unlimited. Warren Buffett could die and leave his entire estate to his children tax-free this year. Next year, the exemption goes down to a million dollars. And the rates that apply start at 37% and go to a high of 60% on the highest marginal dollar of tax. Get that. The, the IRS is taking away 60 cents on the dollar of what you're trying to leave to your heirs. So estate planning is becoming more and more important for the mid-sized estates. Anyone with over a million dollars if they don't change this tax law, we'll have to do estate planning. Now, a million dollars ain't what it used to be. Uh, I know an awful lot of people who are millionaires and are not wealthy by any stretch of the imagination. With a halfway decent 401k plan, with a little bit of life insurance, with what our houses used to be worth, a million bucks isn't what it used to be. But those are the people who have to, to worry about this estate tax. More bad news. The gift tax continues in effect. The gift tax rates range from, again, 37% on the low end to 60% at the highest level. 
The generation skipping tax uh, applies again for people who are trying to benefit their grandkids with a flat rate of 55%. This exemption, uh, this tax has an exemption of a million dollars as indexed for inflation. That indexing is a million three hundred forty thousand this year. We think it'll go up to a million three hundred sixty thousand next year when the IRS announces the um, uh, the conversion.